ETAP offers conversion tools from other power system analysis software, which will automatically generate a multi-layered graphical one-line diagram. In conjunction with the electrical data and settings of the protective devices, which are associated with the protection and coordination studies. Users no longer need to spend countless hours trying to manually import one-line diagrams and electrical data. Moreover, there is even an added capability to map protective device settings in order to import the existing protection and coordination TCC curves. We will demonstrate here how data is transferred from Easy Power software to ETAP. In order to bring in a one-line diagram from Easy Power, we will need a brand new ETAP project for the start. The import tool can be accessed by selecting the proper Import Easy Power project option from the data exchange menu. ETAP provides the users the capability to convert Easy Power projects created in Easy Power versions 8.0 and 9.0 automatically into ETAP. After selecting the appropriate project database version, ETAP will ask for the associated ETAP library file first. Here we select the ETAP library file applicable for the importation process. After selecting an ETAP library, the following interface will appear. Click the Browse button and select the Easy Power project file which has an extension .dez. The user is able to import all TCCs in the Easy Power project and create star TCC views in ETAP automatically. When performing a conversion, the user has two options of either using the original Easy Power layout or using ETAP's auto layout. Select LibMap to perform protective device mapping. The interface has two main parts and supports fuses, low voltage circuit breakers, their trip units, and relays. As soon as ETAP recognizes the protective devices in a project, recognized settings will automatically be mapped by ETAP. Easy Power data is shown in the top half of the interface. This allows the users to view detailed information in a list format of the protective devices found in the Easy Power project. The user can sort the columns individually by clicking on the column headers. ETAP library data is shown in the bottom half of the interface. The user can select the device and settings to be imported. All of the available settings come from the initially selected ETAP library and will be imported into the converted project. At this time, if required, the user can change the settings in this interface. We will be performing protective device mapping for this particular relay. The user may then select OK to complete the import. The Easy Power Project One Line Diagram is now imported into the ETAP One Line view. The diagram is imported and the user will no longer have to spend hours trying to manually clean up the layout. And what's more, the user can always utilize the ETAP Auto Build feature to easily change the layout. We will first ungroup the elements on the One Line view. Select this option to enable the one line auto build feature. Select this option to perform a downstream alignment of all of the feeders that are downstream of the selected bus. Note that existing protection and coordination curves have also been imported. We will show here that the imported Easy Power project is able to run ETAP studies such as load flow analysis. By switching to load flow analysis, we can verify that the data from the Easy Power project has been properly imported to the ETAP project. Now that the Easy Power project is imported properly to ETAP, let's run load flow analysis. After running load flow studies successfully, we can also check if there are any pending issues to be corrected in the project by looking at the alert view. The alert view provides a red bell for critical warnings or a yellow triangle if the study has marginal issues. Now the Easy Power project has been converted into ETAP. The user can make the existing models available for ETAP studies, including ArcFlash, 
Load flow, short circuit, transient stability, relay coordination, cable ampacity, optimal power flow, and more. The user can also evolve the model from the offline to an online engineering model and further specialize engineering by using ETAP real-time.